Do you want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to my latest auction haul. So in today's video, I'm just going to go through one of the standard boxes that I picked up from the auction house yesterday. So essentially, if you don't know, generally the more standard boxes are your sort of more bread and butter items. And I'll normally pay about £10 per plus commission per box. However, sometimes if you've got... Uh, you know, three boxes in a lot and then the hammer falls at maybe £15 plus commission. It works out maybe £5 or £6 per box. So it's it's quite good when you get, you know, a, a big box full of stuff for that sort of price. There's always something in there that can be profitable and that can easily get your money back and some good money. So if you don't know what these like standard boxes are, essentially they will come in these big banana boxes. Um, obviously on the green screen it doesn't look very good there, but they generally just come in these uh, big banana boxes. You get loads of different stuff in there. You get uh, wooden items, you get studio pottery, you get ceramics, maybe you get toys in there, loads of different stuff. So yeah, without further ado, we shall get on with this whole video. It is mainly ceramics, just to make you aware. So if it's not really your thing, uh, if ceramics aren't really your thing, then obviously you might not like this video, you might not get as much use out of it however it's always nice to learn something new as well at the end of the day so with that being said we'll get straight on with this so then guys this is the first item here it is obviously a ceramic figure of a dog now i thought it was uh, just you know unbranded but it has got a maker's mark on the bottom there but unfortunately let me try and see if i can get that focused in a bit don't know whether it will actually but it's very very hard position to to see but it's under there and it's actually rubbed out slightly i think it says melby but i did put that in uh, to ebay m e l b y um i did put it into ebay and i couldn't find anything on it um so i'm guessing it's not going to be worth tons of money maybe 10 15 pounds something like that but you know it's a nice little figure it's nothing really really special but it's a nice little uh, figure of a what is it border collie is that i'm not sure i'm, I'm not very good with my species of dog but yeah that's that one anyway, so first item there. Nice little item, but nothing really, really special. So next we've got these uh, Wedgwood Bicentenary sort of pictorial plates. And I'm guessing that all of the different pictures on it um, sort of have uh, some signif significance to the company. So we've got this uh, uh, canal here, I think it is. Trenton Mersey Canal, 1777. And we've got four of these little plates. We've got Barlaston, 1939. Um, and then we've got birthplace of Josiah Wedgwood, which I believe must have been the founder of Wedgwood. Um, and it has his like birth date and uh, date, he, date he was born and date he died on the back or, you know, years he was born, years he died. Um, and then we have the first um, pottery works as well there so nice little set of uh, plates obviously to someone who collects Wedgwood. That's a nice little piece. I'm going for uh, I've got a little post-it note for these actually. I'm going for 14.99 plus post. Now I've not seen many of these sell, but I have seen one bundle of six of these plates. So there must have been a larger collection of these plates done. One bundle of six that is on for 24 quid free post. One bundle of three that is on for about 10 pound plus post. So I thought I'd just go in the middle, and I'll probably be waiting a while for these. It's something that's probably not going to sell overnight or anything like that, but. I'm quite happy just to wait, sit it out at that sort of price. And yeah, we'll see when we go. Hopefully I'll whack them on a sales update and uh, show you that I've sold them. So yeah, anyway, that's those little Wedgwood plates there. So we've actually got quite a lot of Wedgwood in this sales update. I'll just put that sticker back on there where it was. Um, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, so we've got these that are going to be going on for 19 99 plus post. And this is a little bit of a mix mishmash of a bundle kind of thing we've got these uh, calendar plates from wedgwood this is the Cal camelot design from 1974 i didn't even know uh, calendar plates were a thing but yeah i do now anyway so camelot design 1974 we've got obviously you know d uh, some sort of battle or something going on around the side here or different figures um, of camelot there and then we've got a couple more as well, just whack through these very quickly. As I say, I'm just going to put these on for $19.99 plus post. You can sell them indiv individually, but you don't get tons for them. So I thought I'd just whack them on as a bundle and, and get a little bit more for the bundle. And then it's just one thing to package up. So 1982, this is Wild West design on the back there. Calendar Plate 12 series. 
So I must have done these for quite a few years actually. It would have been better if I could have got consecutive years. I think that would have really helped the price a little bit. But yeah, it just wasn't to be. Uh, there weren't any more in the bundle. This is the Animal Carnival design. And you can see going around the side or around the rim here. We've got various different animals. So yeah, pretty cool that one. Um, so yeah, that that is that one. I'd say going on for 19.99 plus post. So next we've got another couple of plates that are very similar to the calendar plates actually, but these are, um, I think it's the uh, characters of Shakespeare, yeah. So this is the characters of Shakespeare and we've got all the different characters around the outside there. Um, you can see again, it's another Wedgwood plate down at the bottom there, Wedgwood. And then we've got the characters of Charles Dickens. Now these generally go for about £10 each. I've seen that one go, I think that one went for maybe a little bit more, but I think this one may, may have gone for a little bit less. It, you know, as as usual, you know, the prices are up and down. Some have gone for less than a tenner, others have gone for a tenner, and I think mean, there's been, been the odd one that may have gone for just over a tenner. Um, but yeah, this is the Charles Dickens characters, Dickens characters there, and again, we've got all the characters going around the outside there. So I thought, you know what, instead of getting them on for £10 each, what I'll do is I'll try and do a little bundle because they kind of associate together uh, in some way. So I'm going to put them on for 19 99 free post and see uh, what happens with those. Obviously then it means that I can actually get, um, instead of, you know, doing packaging two items for £10 each, I only need to package one item for 20 quid or whatever. So yeah, I thought I'm, I'm going to try and do that as much as I can, as best as I can, bundle things up for, you know, a little bit more rather than just doing individual items for, for £10. But in some cases, I'm just going to have to do that because obviously there's not any applicable bundles that I can actually make. So yeah, that's those two. So this was quite interesting actually. I don't know how well you're going to see that there. Um, it l doesn't look very yellow on the video, but it's actually quite yellow this. Um, and it's like a tea obviously just like a teapot in the form of a cottage. You see quite a lot of these about. Obviously a lot of people like to collect teapots. There's quite a few people who love, you know, all the ceramic teapots and have loads of them and all that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, I think there is still quite a, a good market for these. Um, and I don't know whether you're going to see that stamp. I don't. I hope it focuses in. Uh, it's focused in a little bit there. I don't know whether you're going to be able to see it, but I'll just read it off anyway. So this is Keel Street Pottery Company. Um, is it Hertfordshire, does that say, or Staffordshire? Staffordshire. Um, so yeah, quite nice this. Now, they've gone, like, the teapot's on their own all all over the place, you know, from like £8 all the way up to about £15, £16 or whatever. But I've actually got with it a little uh, milk jug there, which is quite nice. There's no chips and cracks on these that I've found as of yet anyway. I've, I've not really had a really in-depth look, but I can't see any on, you know, on a little quick inspection. Um, and then we've obviously got a little sugar pot with a little lid there of the thatched roof of the cottage. Quite nice. I'll just hold that a bit closer so you can see it there. Quite nice, that one. I quite like that. Obviously, it's got the twin handles on it there as well. Yeah, quite nice. I like that. Um, now, a bundle, the, the set of the three, they've only gone for £15 plus postage. It's very weird because sometimes you can get, like, £15 for the kettle, for, not the kettle, the teapot on its own. But then the, the entire set, you can only get, like, £15 plus postage on, uh, for, for the set. So it's weird. But I'm actually going to shoot for 19 .99. I'm going to shoot a little bit higher because I feel like I can get that 19 .99. It's not too much higher. So I'm going to put 19 .99 and then my, you know, £6 odd Hermes post on that. So, yeah, quite happy with that. Nice little, nice little set. I wish it was worth a little bit more than it is. Maybe, you know, 25 quid, something like that. But we'll see. Hopefully I'll be able to get the 20 quid for, for that. So, yeah, nice little set there. I especially like the... Um, milk jug it's quite nice that milk jug you can see the um i don't know what this is coming down the side of it actually where is that oh up there uh, oh it's a tree that oh yeah it's a tree that that's quite cool but yeah so that's that one so i'll just very quickly do this one because you've already seen one of these i couldn't actually bundle this up with the others because this is just another will uh, characters of william shakespeare one so i didn't want to put that in with the others because obviously then it would be a bundle of two William Shakespeare ones. So I'm going to have to just list this as it is for 9 dollars free post. I, you know, I could I could do something. If I didn't want 
to list it. Obviously, I could put it at the car boot or whatever, but it seems silly. If I can get 10 quid out of it, then I'll get 10 quid out of it. Um, but yeah, it is becoming a bit of a a conundrum for me with the items in the job lots, you know, where they're like £5 or £10 even, and I'm like thinking, well, I don't really want to put them in the car boot pile because I'm going to take a hit on the price, but I don't really want to list them because I'm trying to, you know, only do like the £20, £15, £20 items now, so it's a real conundrum. I think I'm just going to really have to buy the higher value job lots and just leave the sort of the standard ones, but I always think at the same time, like, isn't that wasteful? You know, if I can buy the lower value and buy the higher value, then shouldn't I take it all? But this is the eternal debate with resellers. Like, should you do, you know, the £10, £15 items? Should you do exclusively only higher value, but maybe you risk not being able to find as much higher value? It's one of those, it's just a balancing act, I suppose. But anyway, I'm going to list that just for 9 99 but I'm going to try and keep these lower value items or the £10 items too the absolute minimum I can, and where I can, I am going to try and buy the higher value job lot. So, yeah, that's that one anyway. So, next, or finally, actually, we've got something that's uh, quite nice here, actually. It's uh, hand-painted. Don't know whether you're going to be able to see that. I don't know whether it's going to reflect in the light very well. But, essentially, I, you know, when I reflect it in the light, again, I can see the little bush strokes on here. We're in a nice little plate. Now, this is like a, you know, just a Wedgwood sort of uh, serving plate kind of thing. Um, yeah, but these are quite odd because there's there's quite a few of them on, um, not necessarily just the serving plates, but the other stuff. I've got like a little set of it down here, and they're on for quite good money. And I do think that I show you on one of the not that one. Where was it on one of these? Like we've got, as you can see there. Well, you might not be able to see it, but hope, hopefully it's focusing. You're gonna focus in. I don't know whether that's going to focus in. No, doesn't look like it's going to focus in. But it's quite an old mark of Wedgwood. Um, and it's got the pattern number, which is 5123. So I can tell that straight away by just looking at the mark. I can tell that they've got some age to them. And I thought they're quite nice because they are actually hand-painted. Um, and as I say, I went on eBay. There's, but the weird thing is there's none sold. There's none sold, but there's quite a few on. And they're priced, you know, like just for, there's one trio. So a trio is obviously a, a cup there, a side plate, and then a saucer here. So like that. So, you know, a little side plate and a little saucer, uh, saucer there on top and the side plate there. So there's like a trio on for 25 quid. Now, I don't know in this situation whether... What what's actually happening is that they're on for too high and maybe there's quite a lot on and none sold because customers don't want to pay that amount for that item. I don't know whether that's that's the case here. But I've got quite a lot of this. I've got about I think I've got about four or five trios. Um as you can see here I've got another two cups there. I've got another two cups there. Um and then I've got a load of plates these are all the same design all the same pattern got a load of plates and sauces and everything and then i've got a sugar uh, pot or a sugar bowl there um so yeah got quite a lot of this and then i've got a milk jug as well actually here a milk jug and then there's one more uh, side plate down there so i've got quite a lot of this where's me oh no i've even got oh no that that was i just showed that i was nearly going to show the same pile twice um so if you can see there, trio for twenty four ninety nine non sold. So that there was a trio listed for twenty four ninety five, but there's non sold, and then there's a few other like these plates listed and stuff. But they are listed for decent money, like for one trio twenty five quid. That's a lot, but I don't think it. I don't. I just don't think it's achievable. I, I, I'd love it to be achievable, you know, if the sold listings on there, then I could completely say, yeah, it's achievable to get that, but I just don't think it is, considering there's no sold listings. So I think I'm going to go, I'm going to have to undercut that guy a little bit. I'm going to, I mean, it might be the case that it's just a really slow item with very, very low search volume, but I can't take that risk. I've got to go in a little bit lower. So I might do a trio for like 14 99 plus postage. And as I say, I've got quite a lot of the trios. So I'm quids in anyway on that. Um, and then I don't know what I'm go going to go for on the actual plate here. But there's only one of these plates. And then obviously I could do the sugar bowl. 
and the milk jug as a little set there. Um, but we'll see. I think it's going to be more of a longer tail thing that I might get a sale for a trio every now and then. Um, and yeah, I don't know. And if and doing it as like one single trio, I always find is a good way to go because if you do it, if you, for example, if you list um, a bundle of this, maybe I listed all six. I think I've got six trios or five trios, five trios. So, for example, if I listed four trios as a set. Then, if someone wanted one trio, they couldn't buy that. You see, they could because it would be listed as a set of four. But if you list it as a, as one trio with four quantity or five quantity, then someone who wants four trios can buy the four trios if they want, or someone who wants one or someone who wants two could could buy that as well. So um, yeah, I'm gonna list it as like sort of single trios. See how I go with that. But that that will be some good money back if I sell all this. I mean, just this lot could be a hundred quid now i don't know because they're non-sold so that's really annoying but um yeah that's what i'm gonna go for on those so i'll leave it there guys thank you very much for watching if you did enjoy the video please do give it a like um if you have any comments questions or queries about any of the items you've seen here today please do drop them down below if you haven't already please do subscribe and uh yeah i think that's everything i think that's my little piece at the end of the video done so i will uh, see you in the next one guys so i'll see you very soon